All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend Tarot. So I hope everyone's doing well. Today is going to be your daily general love reading. So let's find out what is going on with you and the person that is on your mind. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. Take it if it resonates, leave it if it doesn't. If you guys are interested in booking something personal with me, my information is down below in the description box, as well as access to a twin flame course and a self-love course. Okay, but let's jump in. So let's take a look and see what is the overall theme of you and this person that is on your mind. Ooh, I love it. So we have fresh start. Okay, so I see that there, um, if you had some sort of falling out with this person or maybe a, um, a lot of challenges with this person, I feel here with the fresh start that there could be something new budding here. There could be an opportunity for sort of a new wave of energy to come in for the two of you or just really a new beginning in general. Okay, so really good energy to start off with. Okay, so let's put this over here. Okay, so let's take a look. So let's see, past energy here. For my viewers and the person that they were dealing with, what is the past energy? What was the past energy between you and this person? What was the past energy? Okay, we have the Ace of Cups reverse, the Three of Wands, and the Justice card in reverse. Okay, so I get the sense that there was a lot of emotional distance between the two of you that could have led to someone feeling like things were not fair. Um, so this could indicate that someone was really investing a lot more in the connection emotionally than the other person. And we have someone else who was really keeping their distance and not opening up or really hiding what they were feeling or not expressing it. And so there was a lack of balance here. There was someone who was feeling that they weren't, be they weren't being treated fairly or they weren't getting back what they were giving essentially. Okay. So there was um, an imbalance here, but I'm also getting an emotional distance. Okay, so let's take a look at their current energy towards you. So what is their current energy towards you? So they're not really putting much effort into this right now, this person that you're dealing with, okay? So we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Um, let's see why. Why is this Eight of Pentacles reversed? Okay, the Ten of Cups in reverse. They're not feeling emotionally fulfilled with this situation right now. Okay, maybe there already has been a lack of emotional fulfillment, so they just kind of stopped putting the effort in or stopped putting the work in. What is your energy towards them? What is your energy towards them? You're also holding back. I mean, I wouldn't say your person's holding back, I just don't think they're putting much effort. Your energy towards them, we have the strength card, so I feel like you're specifically holding back um, from this person, and this could possibly be because of the past energy. So let's see, why is this all happening? Why is this all happening? Some control issues, yeah, the emperor in reverse. Okay, so there has been some control issues within this connection, and specifically, I feel like someone has been stubborn in what they give, um, how much they open up. Okay, something's telling me that this is more your person, but keep in mind, this is a general reading, so you can uh, reverse the roles, but I'm going to tell it the way I'm seeing it, um, and I feel like this, this is representing your person. I think this person has wanted to keep control of the situation, and possibly their way of doing that has been not opening up to you, so you now are holding back. They're also not putting the effort in, so how do they see you right now? How do they see you right now? The Page of Cups. Yeah, they see you offering very little to them, okay? The Page of Cups, I mean, there's a little bit of an offer here, so maybe you're still giving to this person, but not a lot. The Page of Cups, you could be holding back a lot, but just offering a little bit. So how do you see them? How do you see them? The Chariot. Interesting, your perception of them is kind of inaccurate. You're seeing this person as wanting to move the situation forward, but they're actually what they're actually feeling is, for some reason, they're not putting the effort in. Why do you see them as the chariot? Yeah, the knight of swords and the king of pentacles. So your perception, you think that this person wants to move forward with you, wants to pursue this, wants to um, possibly even have something committed with you. This is how you're perceiving them. Now it's interesting because their current energy towards you is quite the opposite, but let's see what they're really wanting with you. So this person that you're dealing with, what are they really wanting with you? What are they really wanting with you? Wow, we have the Three of Swords. We have the Moon in Reverse. 
I feel like this person is dealing with something unrelated to you right now. So the three of swords, I don't, sometimes I'll get, so when I pull an intentions card, sometimes I'll see the three of swords as like kind of a negative thing, like someone who maybe wants to break your heart or unintentionally is breaking your heart. But I'm not feeling that because we have the moon in reverse. So I feel like this is indicating that this person they may not be clear on what they want with you right now or maybe they can't give you a lot because they're going through their own heartbreak. I feel like this is a lingering energy. Now this could be related to a past person or this could be related to something in their family or a friend or something like that. But I feel like this person is very distracted with their own um, heartbreak and also their own depression. They are going through a depression whether you're aware of that or not. Um, and I feel like it's affecting their ability to put any effort into this connection. So I don't know why you guys are thinking that this person is wanting to move towards you. Maybe it's just something you have in your head. I don't think that they have no emotions for you. I just don't think that they are offering much because they're dealing with their own, they're dealing with their own stuff. Like I said, I do think there's a kind of a depression here with the moon in reverse. Okay, let's grab a mixed emotion for them. What's interesting is I do see a fresh start here. Okay, so maybe not all is lost with this person. It could just be that they need time to heal. They need time to get out of this energy. Yeah, we have happy here. So I do feel like you do make this person happy. There's a happiness that you do bring to this person's life, but it's like they can't accept that right now. Yeah, they're just not fulfilled. So it's interesting because, and this is kind of a conflicting energy, but the Ten of Cups in reverse is actually a card of being unfulfilled. But what's, but what's interesting with the happy card coming through here is like you do make this person happy, but they are just unfulfilled in their own life right now. So it's like no matter what you try to do for this person, or no matter, like it doesn't matter how happy you are or how much you offer this person, if they're in, if they are unfulfilled within themselves because of whatever they're going through, whether it's like a blocked heart chakra, heartbreak, grief, pain, loss, whatever it may be, it's like they can't let it in. Okay, they can't let it in, and I think you guys do. I think you guys do know that you make this person happy. Like you, you, you do because you have this perception that they want to move towards you. Um, because maybe you have had happy times with them or maybe you've made them laugh or you've had um, just positive times with them, but they are not fulfilled within themselves. There's something that they need to deal with. There's like a gaping hole in their heart that they have not dealt with and I feel like a lot of them are going through a depression and it's like maybe you've helped this person, like you might have helped this person like with their depression a little bit, but you can't fix this person, you know? Let's see the near future. What's the near future here? Wow. We have the death in reverse with the ten of pentacles. So I feel like you guys are still holding on to this. And that's why I feel like this could be a temporary lull with this connection. Because I'm seeing that this could lead to something committed. I have the ten of pentacles here. And then with the death card coming through in reverse... Um, this indicates that both of you guys are not letting this go in the near future. So you're still holding on to this. You're not fully accepting an, any ending here. And because of that, I feel like maybe if you give this person time, this could actually lead to something fulfilling because you do make them happy. They just need to get out of whatever um, their funk is, their depression, their heartbreak. But this it's telling me that this could lead to something committed with this person if that's what you're wanting. And that could be why we have this whole fresh start as the overall energy. Let's see, what's their message for you? I'm just hearing to say that this person does recognize, so for some of you, maybe this person hasn't told you that like, um, what you mean to them or hasn't told you that you have helped them out of a dark time. They just are acknowledging from like kind of their higher self that you have. So for some of you guys, it's just sort of a message to you um, that you have helped this person, but I feel like they probably don't reciprocate or they don't show that to you. Okay. All right. So their message is to you. So what if you don't accept me for who I really am? I let my doubts and my fears get the best of me. I'm also hearing that this person has had a lot of rough, has had like a rough history when it comes to love. And so they kind of go into situations assuming that the worst is going to happen and they might sabotage based on that. 
It says, no one makes me feel like you do, and I have a plan, but you have to trust me. So yeah, I think this person does see something in the future with you. Um, and actually, I mean, with the near future, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. So from, it's telling me, I mean, the cards, I'm going to read the cards the way I'm seeing them. The cards are telling me that there's a potential for a commitment with you and this person in the near future. Right now, I'm not getting that positive energy, but in the fu near future, I'm seeing something change. Let's clarify this. What if you don't accept me for who I really am? The Queen of Cups. They're afraid to open up to you, okay? The Queen of Cups is all about being vulnerable, being emotional. Um, they want to be, I feel. I feel like not yet. I feel like they have to deal with their own stuff, but... They're kind of worried that if they do start becoming emotional with you, if they do sh start revealing their feelings, what's going to happen, right? Will you accept them? Will you like them or will you run from them? Okay, so they have a lot of their own fears, but I am getting a positive energy. I would say uh, this person is worth holding out for because I feel like their energy towards you is less about you and it's more about their own depression that they're going through because you do make them happy but only to a certain extent because they can't like it's really hard you can't make an unfulfilled person happy like you can't fill a void for someone else they have to they have to do that themselves but i am getting that they don't want to let you go because they see the potential here and this could lead to something committed because i do have the death card reverse with the ten of pentacles Okay, so I do really hope that this reading was helpful. If you want to book a personal reading, um, all of my information is down below. And like I said at the beginning of the reading, if you're interested in a self-love course or a uh, twin flame course, all of the information is down below in the description box. All right, so I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all of the best on your journey. Take care.